recognizing da data exercise H by to enable dot org. Right, we are on the last exercise for this week and it is the memo of exercise H. Please do the exercises yourself before you watch this video, otherwise it is a complete waste of time. So let's quickly look at that handout. Right, so it says the following list of numbers shows show the marks of 20 learners uh, that 20 learners achieved in a test. Sort the data in ascending order. What are the lowest and the highest marks of the learners and convert the lowest and the highest marks to percentage. Right, so now let's get back. Um... Right, so now this is a data in ascending order. The lowest is 7 out of 20 and the highest is 19 out of 20. Now the lowest is 35% and the highest is 97, uh, 95%. So let's quickly work that out. If you take the score, which is 7, and you divide it by the total, of the test which was 20 so 7 divided by 20 times 100 gives me 35 times 100 and 19 out of 20 is 19 divided by 20 times 100 so that's how I got the 35 percent and the 95 percent so 19 divided by 20 times 100 okay and that's how I got to the 95% okay now let's go back to the worksheet um, so convert the highest uh, you d uh, use the list of marks to complete the following frequency table quickly just want to see the rest of the question Okay, why does the frequency table start at 7 and not at 0? Okay, so let's go back. Right, so this is a frequency table. 7 is 2, 8 marks is 3, 9 marks is 1, 10 is 4, 11 marks is 5, 20 marks, 12 marks is 4, 13 marks is 3, 40 marks 2, 15 marks 3, 16 marks 1, 17 marks 1, 90 naught. 18 naught and 19 3. Right, so why does it not start at naught? Because there are no learners who scored below 7 marks. The next one, why are they not more than 19? Because there are no learners who scored above 19. Let's go back to the question. Why was the actual marks used and not the intervals? Right, uh, there were only 32 values in the data set and therefore the frequency table was not small enough without having to group the data. Plus, there, there's only 20 different marks that you could score. If the test was, was out of 200, it would have been a different uh, situation. But now the test is only out of 20, so there's only 20 different possible marks that they could have scored. So it was easy to just look at the marks and analyze according to that. And the last question, was this test easy or difficult for learners? Explain your answer. The class found this test relatively easy because most of the learners half of the 26 out of 32 got at least 50 percent with more than half the class obtaining at least 60 percent right so any question answer is really fine except um, oh, I, I, um, as long as you give a good motivation Right, then below are the genders, the masses of a group of grade 10 learners. Right, so as learners A, the names of the learners are A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, M, N, the genders, whether they're male or female, and the mass in kilograms. Right, sort the above data in ascending order according to mass, but separate, separate the males and the females.
right? The males were 63, 4, 68, 9, 76,6, 73,6, 73,7, 79,8, and 87,6, and the females were 46,6. 8, 53,8, 56,5, 65,3, 65,3, 65,7, 76,9, 82,6. And just add their names uh, to, to that other table. Next question. We'll summarize the above, the boys and the girls. Or Organize the data given in number three in the following table. Right, so it's um, the mass, the number of males and females, and you have to tally. Right, now uh, here it is. Between 40 and 49,9, there's one female, no males. Between 50 and 59,9, two males, no, two females, no males. Between 16, and 69,9, three females, two males, between 70 and 79,9, one female, three males, between 80 and 89,9, one female, and one male. <coughs> Compare the frequencies of above. Mm. So let's quickly look what was the rest. It says. Um, if you the minimum f the boys mass the minimum was 63,4 and maximum was 87,6 and the girls the mi minimum was 46,8 and 82,6 what's the rest of the question um Oh, sorry, that's a summary. Compare the frequencies of above answer for the female and male describe any differences that you notice The females weigh less. The females weigh less than the males. Both gen genders have a person heavier than 80 kilograms. Most males were heavier than 70 kilograms, whereas only one female was heavier than 70 kilograms. Okay, so that is comparing the two. And then the last one, the heights of a group of learners are given below. Choose suitable class intervals and complete the frequency table. And what trends do you notice in the heights of the learners? Right, so let's look at the last question. Right, between 140 and 144, there were four learners. Between 145 and 149, seven learners. 150 and 154, six learners. Between 155 and 150, Nine five learners, 160 and 164, five learners, between 165 and 169, 11, and between 170 and 174, 11, and only one taller. Sorry, what do I notice? Okay, let's see if there's a, okay, there's no one. Right, I notice that most learners are between one. 65 and 174 centimeters tall because the, out of the four, 50 learners there were a total of 22 learners in those two groups whereas the rest are really spread evenly between the smaller uh, numbers and only one is taller than 175 uh, so therefore I can say most learners are mostly between 165 and 174 oh, which is quite tall I think right and thank you very much good luck with the test I hope you get great marks thank you very much